you mentioned that Carolina game in the ACC championship. What was that game like? Carolina was really good. Uh, ended up being a number one seed. You guys ended Actually, up being we, we were the number one tournament. seed, even though they beat us. Yeah. Well, I mean, you both got one seed. Well, we in the both. Tournament. Yeah, we were the overall. Yeah. We still ended up being the overall number one seed, but they beat us in the championship. It was a good game. Yeah. Go what ahead. was that game like? Because I know, um, you know, you guys split the regular season, mm-hmm. and so you got the grudge match in the ACC title game. I think it was in Greensboro. Um, yeah. I mean, what was that atmosphere like? I remember we had one, and it was nuts. So I'm sure it was <laughs> it was about the same for you guys. Yeah, it was definitely you know, nuts. I mean, anytime, you know, this, anytime we're getting ready to play Carolina, it could be three weeks out with three games, four games to go before them, and you get the Carolina questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, we always try to stay focused on who we were playing next. So that was always a key, uh, not to get too much too far ahead of ourselves. But, uh, you know, having split, the, the series mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, us being number one going into it and then being number two in the country going into it, it just was the stage was set to be, uh, you know, a, a, you know, a brawl, a heavyweight brawl. So uh, the, 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 the country was watching, well, the world was watching yeah, you know, yeah. all the way out to China. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a battle back and forth. I mean, you know, they made some big plays. We made some big plays um, and, and they just, we were young. You know, they had a lot more experience than we did, although, you know, we had a good season. We had a great season. They had a great season. Um, they, they just had a little bit more experience and probably, you know, Vince Carter and Antoine Jameson made a huge difference in that. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were decent. They were decent. And, and, and Dakota was a, was a problem. Oh, yeah. Shimon was a problem. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, but it was a great game, man. And it went down to the wire and, um, you know, they came out on top. But, uh, but it, I think that prepared both of us uh, for the tournament. Um, and, and, you know, we can look back on those on that season and say, you know what? I mean, for me, I would have loved to play Carolina every game because it brought <laughs> out the best of me. Yeah. Um, you know, and people people always ask, man, what that game is like, just like we're talking about it now. You, the only way to describe it is you got to be in it. Yeah, you got to play in it. Yeah, <laughs> you got to yeah. play in it yeah. because b- before I played in it, I hadn't. And I've watched Bobby play in mm-hmm. it his whole four years. You know, I walked, I sat in the game the year that I sat out, I was on the bench, mm-hmm. but until I actually played in the game, I had no understanding yeah, about different. How, how different that game is than every other game. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Every, everything goes up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then you lose, you guys lose that game. How do you, how do you flip the switch going into the NTA tournament? Um, Obviously, no, you know, knowing the season isn't over, you still have, you know, you still have goals um, to win a national championship. How do you flip the script after losing in such a, you know, emotional game in the ACC championship? Um, well, from you know, just from a confidence standpoint, we felt like even though we lost the game, we were still the best team in the country. Mm-hmm. I mean, I thought we we thought, especially once we got Elton back. And, and another reason I think, you know, they came out on top in that game, the excitement in the first in the first round of Elton coming back, you know, propelled us over the top. And, you know, I, I don't think he was in as great a shape and ready to play physically as, you know, everybody as he showed. Mm-hmm. And that helped that hurt us a little bit um, in that game. But once that game was over and we got that out of our system, uh, we took it upon ourselves to make sure we were more ready than ever um, as a unit. Um, practices got a little bit more intense. Um, guys would stay a little bit longer, work on things. More video came into play against the teams we were going to match up against. And our focus went to another level. Um, and and as a unit, we were on the same page. And I think that going into the, the, the tournament allowed us the confidence that we exuded. I mean, first game, you know, we played Radford, I believe, or something like that, and we ended up winning by like 45 or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, in the first half, I think I had more points than they had as a team in the first half. So I thought I was going to get 50, but I didn't play in the second <laughs> half. <laughs> you know, coach would get you with that one. I was like, I'm getting 50 this game. I think I was winning like 22 to 19 in the first half. <laughs> And I played like I started the game in the second half. I scored one bucket. Coach is like, you're out of there. That's enough. Uh, that's enough. <laughs> we're not going to, we're going to, we're going to, we need you, bro. We need to yeah, save yeah. some of that for the next series. <laughs> and then I think we ended up uh, playing Oklahoma State, who had mm-hmm. you know, Robish and, and uh, you know, 
They had, uh, what's the guy's name? Doug Godleib at the point, Desmond Mason. I mean, they were really good too. Um, and we played them in the, sec- in the second round. Uh, and, and it was a dog fight. And I almost had a triple double that game. I finished Ooh. for like 28, 14, and like eight assists. It was like my highest assist. I, you spread those out over the season. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say eight. That's about six, seven games for me. They double teamed me, man. So I had to, I had to pass it a you little bit. You had no bit. choice. <laughs> Ah, here. <laughs> Double team with a seven foot and a six eleven guy. Man. So I was like, ah. but you know, it's funny because you know, this talks to you know the understanding of coaches. Coach with this game, he knew that the double team was going to come. Mm-hmm. By this time, I'm playing at such a high level. Um, I mean, I put myself in the draft by this point. I'm, I'm a first round pick by now. Um, and he he told me before the game, he said, "You're going to get a double team, and this is what I need you to see, and this is what I need you to do." So when I saw the double team coming for the first time, it was like deja vu. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and I was able to react and, and really just, you know, just it was it, was, it looked scripted. Mm-hmm. Um, and I was able to pick them apart. and You know, guys hit shots and, and I was able to get it out, get it back and go quick one on one. You know, just a lot of little nuances of being able to, you know, put yourself in, in better scoring opportunities. So, yeah, it's great. Um, and then you end up losing by two. Uh, and you lead oh, to Kentucky, yeah. up ten at half. What? <sighs> no, no, we we got we went up by seventeen with ten minutes with nine Ooh. minutes to go. And what we happened? Were, I got in foul trouble. Uh, they called two. I mean, I watched this game like seven thousand times <laughs> just, <laughs> just to see what they saw, man. And I sh- I took a jump shot. I had two fouls, and uh, they took a I took a jump shot on the baseline and. I think it was Hashimu Evans slid under me on the baseline and they called the offensive foul and the shot went in and, and, but they, I was like, how do you get an offensive foul on a jump shot? Uh, it was yeah, like a, weird. it was like a 12 to 15 foot jump shot on the baseline and they called up. And so that was my third foul. And about a minute later, I'm setting the high ball screen and Jeff, Jeff Shepard flops. Uh, and they call it, they call it, and I was like, he, you know, I, you know, not using the language I use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He <laughs> and flopped. Yeah. And, and, you know, and you could just see him smiling, you know, with the little <laughs> grimace on his face. Like, I got it. I got him. So, you know, I, I got, I was on, I was on a roll by that time. I started scoring some points uh, and, and everybody was kind of in sync. And when I got in foul trouble, it just kind of changed the flow of the offense. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Cause even though I didn't shoot the ball well, I got really good shots and, and, and the ball still moved and other, it made other people, it gave, it gave them an opportunity to get wide open shots too. Um, and they put, for some reason, man, they just didn't miss a shot in the next seven or eight minutes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the guys like Cameron, uh, who didn't even score yet in the tournament was hitting shots. Yeah, yeah. I, I know that, I know shots. that feeling. I know that Scott feeling. Scott Padgett is hitting shots, you know. <laughs> And it's a battle back and forth. They they fight back. And so the last probably five minutes of the game was a two one point possession yeah. back and forth. And um, we go up by one. Um, and then they, you know they they ended up hitting a big three point shot to put them up by two. We come down, make a free throw, uh, and then we have to foul obviously because mm-hmm. it's and you know they hit a free throw and you know I hit a three at the end. We were down. <laughs> We were down four. I thought we were down <laughs> uh, three. I thought I tied it, but <laughs> we were still down one, and we had to foul, and then they ended up hitting another free throw. Wayne yeah. Turner was just amazing at the end with his ball control, and we ended up losing the game by two. Man, I, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever cried because of a game. <laughs> it's my last college game. Man. Yeah, I balled out. It was it was just heartbreaking. Yeah, I've watched that game a thousand times to see those calls, man. It's just (laughs) horrible. (laughs) Still, still disagree. Yeah, you want to, you want to meet, you want to meet the referee at the car, (laughs) man. (laughs) You can't do it, but yeah, you're like, man, if I could just meet him at his car, (laughs) nothing's gonna change. But I feel a whole lot better. Yeah, right. It make me feel better. (laughs) That was the jersey coming out of it. (laughs) 